book is called The Pine Tree Parable. It's written by Liz Curtis Higgs, illustrated by Nancy Munger. Every spring, the farmer planted flowers. Every summer, he grew fruits and vegetables. Every fall, he harvested bright orange pumpkins. And every day of every year, the farmer grew the tallest, widest, biggest, greenest, loveliest crop of all. Christmas trees. The farmer and his wife began planting seedlings when their children were small. Each year the family grew. So did the little pine trees. The trees were quiet. The children were noisy. But the farmer's wife loved everything that grew on the farm. One chilly November day, the time finally came to sell the pine trees to the neighbors. People bought the fine looking trees, which soon filled many homes with the fragrance of Christmas. But the farmer's wife couldn't bear to part with one remarkable tree. It stood very tall and perfectly straight. Its long branches danced on the wintry air. The farmer's wife hung a tag on the pine tree, not for sale. She added a shiny gold star on top. Now the family could enjoy the tree day after day, year after year, Christmas after Christmas. The next holiday season brought more neighbors to the farm. The perfect tree was taller than ever. When the neighbors asked, oh, how much for this beautiful tree? The farmer's wife just smiled and shook her head. Sorry, not for sale. One Christmas Eve, when the farmer's children were children no longer, a family of three drove in in a rusty old truck. Their clothes were patched and their faces looked tired. They trudged up and down a row of trees that no one else wanted. The trees had missing branches and crooked trunks. Those trees were free. They were the only kind of Christmas trees the family could afford. The little child found her way to the tallest pine tree. She stood at the foot of it, looking up, up through the sweeping branches to the glistening star on top. Oh my, she sang out, can we buy this one? Her parents were embarrassed. They knew they could never afford it. The farmer's family were also embarrassed. They knew too. But the little girl didn't know the cost. She only knew it was the most wonderful pine tree in the world. Please was all that she could say. The little girl was so poor, yet so full of hope. What could the farmer's wife say to her? What could she do? The farmer's wife took a deep breath. I'm sorry, she said. This tree is not for sale. But we'd like you to have it as a gift. The little girl's parents could not speak a word. What a kind and generous gift, the farmer's wife said. Did not even know them. They were strangers. The farmer smiled at his wife. Well done, his smile seemed to say. The gift is good. As the farmer took his saw to the bottom of the trunk, the child could not keep her joy inside. She leaped up and down. Hooray, hooray, the tree is ours. The farmer's wife watched the, her favorite pine tree as it fell to the snowy ground. Tears shone in her eyes. She brushed them away like snowflakes. Yes, it was a great sacrifice, but it brought even greater joy. Isn't that just like Christmas?